of course, I encourage all our viewers to call, and hopefully we can help you today as well. In fact, we do have some callers right lined up. Are you ready, Andrew? I'm ready. Next one we have is Jade. Jade, go ahead, please. Hi. Yes, I have a child who is going to be turning 18 in a couple of months, and I do have sole custody. Um, it was left up to uh, the child whether he wanted to have any contact with uh, his father, and he has chosen not to do that. And we couldn't understand at the time why. It's a little complicated because um, my son uh, does have autism, and he has now um, come along verbally to the point where he has disclosed um, I'm going to use the word alleged, although it's been medically supported, um, a very, very violent physical assault uh, upon him during a visitation with his father some years ago. Um, I would like to go back to court to get a divorce. Um, my husband has not cooperated in um, me trying to get a divorce before, which cost me almost $3,000, the custody cost me $11,000, and um, under the Divorce Act, I would like to try to uh, protect uh, my son by getting ongoing support because he has a disability and because he does still require uh, support for that disability. Um, unfortunately, Legal Aid uh, turned me down, although I do qualify, and I'm wondering if there's any other alternatives um, because of the seriousness uh, of this case and the implications uh, to the child. Um, sorry, Jade, sorry to interrupt you. So are you yeah. looking to see if you can extend the spousal, I mean, the child support? Um, and you, you said that you didn't get a divorce or you're not divorced yet? Uh, no, um, he hasn't cooperated uh, with doing that. So um, and... Um, so unfortunately, I haven't been able to. We've been separated 15 years. Oh, so we, we can't hear you, Jade, too much. So you've been separated for 15 years. That's correct. And, and the question, I think, Jade, and I'm not sure if the viewers at home can hear her, um, that the question is, um, what steps can Jade take in order to extend the uh, child support? And then also how she can, I guess, expedite a divorce? Can he stop her the way that he stopped her? You know, if one person wants a divorce, you always assume that a divorce has to happen. Well, let's start with the issue of child support. And just because a child obtains the age of 18 doesn't mean the child support has to end. There's various exceptions. The first place that you would go to, is to I would ask, is, is your child still in school on a full-time basis? And Jade? Oh, no, I think we've lost Jade, unfortunately, but... No, I'm oh, right there here. Oh, you're right there, Jade. Is he going to school? No, he's not in, in school. Okay. So then the next part of the test is whether or not your child can obtain the necessaries of life on their own. And that really is a loaded question, because can your child work? Can your child earn an income? If the answer to that is yes, then there may be an argument that you're not entitled to child support anymore. If the answer to that is no, then you have a good argument for child support to continue potentially for an indefinite period for, or I should say for as long as it takes your child to be able to obtain the necessaries of life. And that's not you on your own going to court and saying this is what he can and can't do. You're, you're going to need to have some expert evidence who is going to say what your son's limitations are and the fact that he can't work and earn a living. And who would be an expert? It would have to be somebody in autism who ideally who is treating your son, who has a history of dealing with your son. Because when you just go to a doctor one time, unless they're an expert in that field that has a referral from another medical pr practitioner, it doesn't sound as good as saying, here's the expert. I've been treating this child. I've been dealing with this child for a number of years. These are the recommendations. This is the progress. This is the plan. Uh, that type of in-depth report would be much better than just a one-time appointment, in my opinion. So that is something I would want to do. Now, to answer your second question about a divorce, you can claim an application for divorce. Uh, the reason why a divorce would usually not be granted would be because there's no reason, there are not reasonable arrangements for child support in place. And in your case, I think you seeking the divorce would make a difference in the fact that the children uh, you separated 15 years ago. But you have to be very, very careful 
because if you're seeking your application for divorce, you need to make sure that you say that there is a child of the marriage being this child, because if you swear in an affidavit that there are no children of the marriage to get it through, your ex is going to use that to their advantage to make sure he doesn't have to pay child support. Jay, does that answer your question? Um, it, it does. My question, though, is he has tapped me out financially, my husband, um, and legal aid has turned me down. Are there any other alternatives uh, to seek uh, proper representation? Are there any um, our community, uh, disability community um, groups that you're aware of as a lawyer in, in the city of Toronto? That's a great question. I'm not aware of any, but what some people do in your situation is you may prefer to do it on your own. You may prefer to hire a lawyer for a limited retainer. What that means is you may hire a lawyer just to draft your material for you and not attend court. Uh, you have options of trying to hire perhaps a less expensive lawyer, a more junior lawyer to assist. Uh, you also need to be very careful because if he's not paying you the right amount of child support right now, and I suspect he hasn't given you any financial information in a number of years, you would need to go to court and commence your application to get the appropriate quantum of child support before your child's 18th birthday. Because if your child is no longer a child after 18, you don't get any retroactive it may be very difficult to claim the retroactive support. So you should do it right away if you're thinking about doing it in case you want to increase the support. And Jane, if you'd like to hold the line and perhaps give one of our producers your, your email address, we could look into, I could look into some groups that might be able to help you. Um, there is the lawyer referral service, which I'll, I'll be sure to get to you as well, Jade, that can be useful. You get to speak with a lawyer for about 30 minutes. Um, they won't be able to represent you, but perhaps they could give, go into depth a little bit more and you can provide some more access, Jade. So does that answer your question? Yes, and I really appreciate your help. Thank you. Good luck, Jade. And again, stay on the line and, and give someone your email address so we can help you further.